Hey everybody, welcome to the Photog Experience. On this channel, I like to give you practical advice on how to help improve your photography and videography, but I also like to do travel videos. And this particular one is a different video I've never done before. I'm actually gonna do a ship tour of Carnival Sunshine. This is my first ship tour ever, um, and I'm doing it on a crazy time. This is during Embark Day. We all just board currently right now it is 232 but let's just get right into it we're here on deck three and this is actually where you enter the ship from the gangway um, beautiful piano right here so you enter this right here and you come into the beautiful atrium this is the sunshine and you have an amazing sun like sculpture right in the front and it is beautiful nice I and mean, it's actually kind of a smaller atrium than I have seen before this is a relatively small ship but it goes pretty wide um, over on this side right where you walked in on the ship the guest services over here so they will be able to help you with all of your needs that you would need if you help with the carnival hub app um, in room purchases or anything that they can help you all the way on the other side of the bar guest services is over there Sunball is over here and go this way and that is the carnival adventures um, so if you need help with an excursion if you want to book an excursion or if your excursion excursion got canceled this is the place to go so right on the other side of the bar the atrium bar you have these beautiful glass elevators and you come through and then you have this whole big lobby just full of different elevators that you can take to go up to the, your room state room or anything like that and then also these beautiful grand staircases. Now these staircases will basically go all the way up to the very top of the ship and down as well. And one thing that's really cool, what I've loved and seen so far is on the bottoms of these railings are these beautiful looking lions. So again, there is the atrium bar. If you turn directly this way it is the sunset restaurant it is one of the set dining options they have the early and the late oh it looks like they do have your time dining as well um, and this is the the midship restaurant so from the atrium again this is where you get in the ship like I showed you earlier going around we are going up the staircase to the mezzanine level this is uh, deck four, basically, the mezzanine. Um, this is where um, like your photos and the library and all that stuff is gonna be. So we're gonna turn directly around and we're gonna head this way. We're gonna go around the circle first. And this is the library bar. And so right in here, This is where you can play board games, quit and come over here and be quiet if you'd like to be. They have books, all sorts of things. They have tables, they have games all through here that you can sit down and enjoy. Looks like some people have enjoyed some wine. I don't see any bar locations. Um, I don't see any alcohol in here, so I don't know why it's called a bar, but that is perfectly okay. Let's look at something else. So going around from the library bar, we're gonna go this way. And this is actually where you can find your photos. So throughout the ship and throughout the many nights, um, there will be photos being taken either with the backdrop or someone with the camera will just walk around. Um, once those photos are taken, this is actually going to be full, just full of photos of you and your family. So come here, take a look. If you don't like them, you can actually put them in a bin like this and throw them away. Or you can take them and purchase them. No obligation whatsoever. And there is a lot of them. Okay. From the pixel area, you come straight through, and this takes you to the liquid lounge. And let me take you in there so you can see. Pretty sure people are having mustard in here right now, but that's perfectly fine. I won't bother anybody. I won't mess with anything. Um, but this is the big um, playlist area for um, plays and all things like that. And it is 
It is blue. But the seating here is actually different than I've ever seen before. Um, but this is where they're going to have their playlist, possibly bing playlist predictions, bingo, and things like that. Also, what they do is when this is all um, at night, they take all of these out, and it actually becomes a nightclub, which is pretty amazing. And also, of course, they have a full bar. Or it actually doesn't look like a full bar, but they have a bar. So we're going to exit out this area and we are going to go to the right. This is where I showed you before I entered the liquid lounge here. There's another entrance to the liquid lounge on the other side of the ship. I want to turn around and go this way and even more areas for the pixel gallery. So literally these photos are going to be everywhere all over the ship. So many photos. And again, this is another look of the beautiful atrium here on the Carnival Sunshine. Coming from this way, here's the atrium. Again, more and more gallery space. But this is the section where you actually pay for the photos. It tells you the, the different sizes that you can get, all the different frames and wall art that you can get. Um, 5 by 7 6 by 9 9 8 by 10 s and things like that. But also through here, you can get water shoes if you've got them. You can get snorkel masks, some cases for your phone, all sorts of stuff like that. And then you can also get um, GoPro Hero 10s um, for $4.99. You can purchase them here. If you forgot a micro SD card, an SD card, anything like that, that's here for you to purchase. Um, ponchos if you need it. Um, that is all right here as well. So we're now walking through the mezzanine area. And this is a, another library bar entrance. You can go in here. And this looks like a more quiet, secluded area which you can get into. Um, let's go look. And this actually uh, looks like it has a wine dispensary, but it doesn't look like it has anything in it. Um, and actually, right here is the library bar, which you can go ahead and partake in. Some nice seating if you want to come in here, relax, have a quiet area, play some games if you want, and have some some to drink. So the atrium is right there, the library bar is right there, keep going straight, and then you have the piano bar 88. This is also a super fun place to go to. Um, the piano players are usually very talented and they're amazing at what they do. So they have a bar here, which you can order drinks. Plenty of seating, but if you want to get to something like this, they fill up very fast. So I definitely recommend coming here as soon as possible um, if, you, if you know that they're about to start. Um, the piano and the, like it's just a, it's a really fun atmosphere. They take requests and you can just literally ask them to play kind of whatever you want. So coming out of the piano bar, this is the piano bar. Coming out of the piano bar, turning around and going this way. This is where the Fahrenheit um, 555 Steakhouse is. This is an upcharge restaurant, um, but I've heard amazing things. Um, but straight down the atrium, we're on deck five again. Is this way. <laughs> And then also, this is where the Bonsai Sushi is. And so, um, come in here, order some sushi if you are a sushi fan. Um, you can actually go ahead and see this menu if you'd like. Go ahead and pause it so you can see the different pricing that they have. From what I gather, the pricing is actually really good. Compared to like other restaurants, not on a ship. Now coming from this way, the Fahrenheit 555 restaurant is that way. We are now here at the Limelight Lounge. Let's go around this way and check it out. Again, this is the mezzanine area. The sign for the liquid lounge is this way. And if you go this way, you see some pretty cool artwork. And then this is the entrance to the Limelight Lounge. Right now it says a private function, so I don't know exactly what's going, to, going on in there. So I'm not gonna go in there. I'm not gonna check it out or anything. There could be 
a wedding or anything like that. But this is where the Punchliner Comedy Club will be, which we will definitely check out. It's amazing. The, com the comedians on board carnival ships are usually hilarious. So again, just for reference, I like to do this. We are here at the Atrium Bar, and we're going up the stairs yet again to deck five. We were on deck four, started at deck three, deck four, going up to deck five. And this is where all the different shops are. So we will start right here. Just came up the stairs. If you go this way, the casino is right there, but we'll, we'll discuss that in a little bit. We're actually gonna go to the warehouse, which is the arcade here aboard the Carnival Sunshine. They have a bunch of different games, like Nerf Arcade, they have a Monopoly game, the piano game, Skee-Ball, which is a huge favorite, basketball, Mission Impossible. All the different like crane type machines um, that are usually very impossible to win. I don't really even try these anymore. They have a quarter pusher here. They have down a clown. Right next to the warehouse and the entrance to the, uh, the Sunshine Casino is cherry on top. We are at sea today. Uh, this uh, ship tour is a little broken up, but it's perfectly fine. But this is cherry on top. This is the place where you can get all the different sweets that you want. Um, of course, it's only open when we're actually at sea in international water. And they pretty much have anything that you would want um, sweet-wise. But they also have different memorabilia. They have Dr. Seuss. They have the Grinch. Um, they have these super cute uh, rubber duck type things. Uh, rubber duck uh, branded things super super cute um, and then they have um, about the bag and then you can do candy by the pound I was actually in here earlier and I did not see any um, gummy funnels which is crazy and sad all at the same time but I mean it is what it is um, all sorts of different candies here and of course you can buy them by the package right here and all of this um, it's candy by the weight um, so you pretty much, you just get a bag and you say, okay, I want this much and you just pay for it. Or you can get a giant gummy bear on a stick. <laughs> Go to the right. This is where your shops are going to be. So this is the Sea Breeze. This is going to be your fancy slash shiny, shiny store and your smell good store. So this will have your colognes and perfumes and your shiny things. Also part of the shiny things is the Front Street Fine Jewelry and Watches. Um, they have Rolexes and tags and all sorts of uh, amazing jewelry and watches. If you want anything shiny, this is the place to go. We're going to go this way. And this is another entrance to the Liquid Lounge. So we're on deck five. Um, you can get access to the Liquid Lounge, I believe, on four and five. And I think that's pretty much of it on this ship. And so we're gonna go this way, and we're going to, like we showed you earlier, you have the grand staircase, which, takes you, which will take you all the way up, an area with all of these elevators. And we're gonna go straight on through to the rest of the shops that are on this side. Again, on this side, another entrance to the Liquid Lounge. And in this area, the support side liquor store, or liquor and tobacco. And so if you wanna purchase any liquor by the bottle instead of by the drink, um, this is the place to do it. You have Crown and Makers, you have Grey Goose, and um, all sorts of things in there if you wanted to purchase alcohol by the bottle and drink it in your room. And then we have the Island Traders um, right next to the liquor area 
and this is where you're going to get all of your your carnival like merchant branded merchandise um it's going to be in here is, or part of it is going to be in here at island traders general store i stand corrected funnel gear right here is going to be where you're going to get all of your carnival merchandise that you would want um and again we are docked so this is not open right now because if they were open they'd have to charge taxes and stuff like that but once we hit international waters and we start moving this will be open and this is on directly on the other side of the atrium and here's the glass elevators right next to the funnel gear if you go to the left it is the skybox sports bar so let's go in here and take a look if you are a sports fan sports memorabilia fan this is the place to go it has it is full of tvs for you to watch um, games on it is a full bar and just a, a cool place to come hang out watch a game or two and just relax with uh with your friends and your buddies so we are back where we started here on deck five at the atrium you're going to go directly behind and you're going to head towards the sunshine casino and like i showed you earlier this casino is massive and no one is playing right now one of the reasons why we can i can record right now um, during regular sailing you can't record in here at all um, it's just courtesy but while we're in we're docked you can go ahead and do that um so many different table games they have blackjack they have texas hold'em they have roulette they have pretty much anything you would want in a casino obviously they have slot machines they have dragon link and um, all sorts of stuff like that we will partake in some fashion here just to try it out um, we're not huge gambling people so we won't be spending a lot of money here but i'm sure we don't mind throw a few dollars off the ship and enjoy ourselves here at the casino one of the coolest things i think here in the casino is the cash crane machine um, they come in stacks of 500 250 100 and it's a crane machine so you put in it's a dollar per play or something like that and you try to get a stack of uh, money with a crane machine and i've seen a lot of people win a lot of money on this thing it's amazing after walking through the casino from the atrium you have the casino bar and so this is going to be a full bar so if you walk through here and you're here at the casino here's a perfect place to stop get a drink and enjoy yourself and we're going to go left of the casino bar towards the ocean plaza so you can see they're going they're already setting up for some photos so they have um, studio strobes and they'll have backgrounds and things like that for beautiful photos. And so right here, this is called the Shake Spot. Um, this is a uh, an area with Java Blue Cafe. So if you want any sort of specialty coffee drinks or pastries or things like that, this is the area to go. Um, and they have different kinds of pastries and cupcakes and things like that for purchase. And on the left from the Shake Spot, is one of my favorite bars on a carnival ship and is the alchemy bar pretty much anything and everything you would want on like in a bar alchemy bar can do it for you if you have a particular taste or a particular proclivity to any kind of liquor they can help you out and they can make your dreams come true and it's amazing right to the right of alchemy bar is the ocean plaza so this is where they'll have trivia live music and all sorts of stuff like that and it's it's pretty expansive but on the other side of that is a red frog pub plenty of seating here at the red frog pub um, this place not only has drinks but it also has food that you can order uh, for a price and so let's check out the red frog pub normally this is a place where you can buy hello you can buy half price fish bowls and things like that so there is the uh the bar of the red frog pub and if you come back here they have some games for you yeah foosball 
They have shuffleboard. Let's see if they, oh yeah, they actually have sand on it. Ah, too hard. Not hard enough. Too hard. Ah, so bad at this. So again, I am back here in the atrium. Sorry, the music is loud, but I'm gonna head over to the glass elevators and go all the way up to deck nine to the Lido deck. Let's go. So we're here at the glass elevators. We're gonna go towards the Lido marketplace, the pool, and the beachside theater. Let's go to the right. Because it doesn't matter which one, which side you go to, they're literally exactly the same. But you have some beautiful artwork here on the wall. And then one of my favorite things is this is the very top of the atrium. And then you can look down all the way down. You don't like heights, this may bother you just a little bit, but it's amazing. I love this. Again, I start here in the middle. This is kind of like the atrium area. The glass elevators are right here. We're on deck nine, which is called the Lido deck. This is filled with um, artwork and things you can look at, which is beautiful. All different kind of memorabilia of the ship as well. But we're gonna go this way to the Lido, to the pool deck, Lido. This is, this is the, the fun area of the ship. So I'm gonna give you just a quick spin of what to expect here on Lido. It is full of people. Like I said, this is Embark Day. So a lot of people have not reached their rooms just yet, even though it's three something. Nice little spin for you. So let's go check out what the Lido has to offer. So here at the beachside pool, the big screen, which will show movies at night. Tonight is actually Jurassic Park. To the very right of it is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. If tequila is your drink, this is the place to go. And then all the way on this side is the Red Frog Rum Bar. If you are a rum fan of any sort or concoction, this is the place to go. I'm much more of a rum fan, so that's where I go. And so let's go this way. Let's just walk. Because, I mean, might as well, right? Get get the sights, get the feel of what this ship has to offer. And I love it, and it's amazing. So on this side, it is the Blue Iguana Cantina. So this place is where you can get your burritos, you can get your tacos for lunch and dinner. And then they also have breakfast burritos, and they are fantastic. It is one of my favorite things to get breakfast-wise on a ship. Well, here is the beachside pool. I just walked in over there. The Blue Iguana Cantina is over there. If you float around this way, this is the famous Guy's Burger joint. This is where we had lunch today. Um, it's a tradition of mine to have Guy's Burger on Embark Day. I just, it's just amazing. But this is where you can get Guy Fieri's famous burgers. They're so good. They just, ah, they're perfect. So here is the pool. Uh, came in right over there. This is Guy's Burger Joint. If we come to the left this way, there's even more goodies back here. On each side of this area, they have swirls, which is ice cream. Um, I'll definitely partake in that a little later. It looks like they have an attendant helping everybody get their ice cream. But this is the Lido Marketplace. This is where um, the Lido Buffet, if you've probably heard, is there's Bukus and Bukus and Bukus of seating and so much food to partake in and to eat. And it's just it's an amazing place to be. This is where I entered the Lido Marketplace. Um, very first area is a beverage area. It's where you can get water and tea and uh, coffee. And then sweet spot right here. They also have another sweet spot on that side. This is where you can get uh, anything sweet basically so different cakes and pies and cookies and things like that the funfetti cheesecake was amazing and that was here and they have a carving station right in the middle um they have this over here and all the way over there as well um different things that you can eat 
uh, broccoli and this is prime rib, mac and cheese and all things like that. And over here is the, the deli artisanal eats. Um, I actually got the buffalo chicken sandwich here earlier and it was phenomenal. And if you keep going this way, they're closing it. They're closing it up, but this is actually a salad bar. So this is full of salad fixings where you can go ahead and partake and all of that. And over here um, is the Pizzeria del Capitano. And behind it is actually, we'll discuss that in a second, Gigi's Asian Kitchen, Cucina del Capitano, and the Havana Bar. So here at the Pizzeria del Capitano, you actually, this is where you come and get your pizza. Um, Carnival is famous for their quick service pizza. Come and get it. So it is very bright, the sun is very bright. So here again at the beach pool, this is the, the Lido deck. I wanna go ahead and go up to deck 10 and show you what's up there. One of the things Carnival is famous for is their beautiful whale tail. We're gonna go directly under the whale tail in this way. And you can see there are plenty of loungers here on the Carnival Sunshine for lots of places to sit and relax. Enjoy the amazing views. So we're gonna come directly back this way and this is actually the Camp Ocean area. Um, so this is for small children, I believe from two to five or something like that. Um, I'll go ahead and put it in. Uh, editing me, we'll go ahead and put the ages down there. Bing! <laughs> Little noise for you to check out. On this part of the ship, we're actually on the aft of the ship. This is where like all the fun stuff for big kids are, really. So you can see we're all right here. Here is a ropes course. And they have multiple different water slides that you can take and enjoy. It's called the Carnival Waterworks. Some information right there if you'd like to go ahead and pause that and read it if you'd like to. But back here is all things fun. You have the ropes course, all these different kind of water slides. I think there's two or three different water slides. There's some racing water slides. And it's just a fun place for adults to be a kid. I love it. And I mean, how can you hate? The whale tail is literally right there. And the super cool part about this is they are racing slides. So there's a blue side and a green side. I don't know if they actually say a time or who wins or what, um, but you go to the very top up there, race down to see who can get to the bottom the quickest. So I'm here at the very aft of the ship, literally right behind Waterworks. It's right there. Beautiful place to come especially to see sail away. If you wanna see the ship move away from port, this actually may be a good place for us to go. Um, currently time, it is 3.28. I actually need to go and meet up with my group. So I'm going to finish this tour at another time, but you won't notice because it's gonna be right away in, you know, one, two, three. All right, I am back with my ship tour. As you can see, it looks completely different. Um, I'm currently on my phone. It is currently a little stormy and rainy. There's a sunset. Um, but I'm going to finish my uh, ship tour. Uh, one, because I think this would be a super cool idea to do, because I've never done it before. And, you know, just to get a cool different perspective. And again, like I said, this is Waterworks. This is where um, all the different water slides are. We're going to go this way. Um, like I said, it is currently stormy, so they are cleaning up all of the deck chairs. And we're gonna go up here real quick to talk about what's up here. Get a little stormy. There's the beautiful ocean going up to deck 12. 
here on deck 12, this is the sports square or sports area. You have all sorts of different kind of things that you can do. You have ping pong over here. You have two different pool tables. And of course you have the ropes course, which this cruise has been super windy. So here at the sky court, all of this has been kind of shut down for most of the cruise. You have some awesome seating up here. You have some more foosball. Well, you, you have foosball right here and over here. You have a beautiful basketball court right by the right by the whale tail. Of course, you have checkers and chess over here. You have shuffleboard. You have cornhole board. Another ping pong table on this side. And the, we, like I said, are completely on the aft of the ship. And we're on deck 11. We're going to go this way. We're going to go up to deck 12. And this is the putt-putt area. We get the beautiful sunrise. Or we get the beautiful sunset. And you get a lot of really neat different holes here. Sorry, it is super windy. And I'll just kind of take you around. I may have to do a voiceover, but I don't know. Gosh, this is windy. So if you come this way, um, right over this, this is actually the big screen where you can see all the different movies that they play. And then on the other side is actually the little pool down on deck nine. By the beautiful whale tail. And it just does a loop. We're gonna go completely on the other side. So also up here, you will see this blue section and you will see the triangles. This is actually a running slash walking track. So I'm currently now forward of the ship. Um, there is the pool deck or the Lido deck. If you come up a few decks uh, to deck 11, you get the Serenity deck. Serenity Deck is adult only, so no children up here. And as you can see, there is a lot of amazing seating here on the ship. Um, and the crazy thing is, this isn't even all of them. There's more up there, and we'll talk about that in a second. But what's really cool is if you can see this waterfall, this is one of the only ships that have a Serenity waterfall like this. And right above there is actually a hot tub. So you can sit up in that hot tub, get the beautiful views or go into the pool and get splashed with the waterfall. So now I'm here on deck 12. The winds are super high on this cruise, especially right now because we just went through a storm. And so all the upper decks are actually crossed off and you can't really go to any of the top, the top decks because it is just too windy. But up there is more serenity where they have clamshells and different things that you can go in and relax if you're an adult. So if you're running a relaxing time, a good massage, possibly a haircut or a shave, or possibly some time spent in the thermal suite, this is the place to check out here on deck 10 forward. So here in the spa, there's actually a full workout room has free weights, weights, treadmills, anything and literally everything that you would need to work out at home would be right here for you. Right on the very front of the ship. So I'm gonna end this ship tour where I started here in the atrium. Like I said, this is a life and center of the ship. If you can find your way to the atrium, you can find your way anywhere around the ship. I hope you all like this. Um, I thought it was super fun to make and be sure you check out the rest of the content that I made while on the Carnival Sunshine. Um, please go ahead and consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you can stay up to date 
on all the videos and content I make about the Carnival Sunshine.